Ladies and gents, John here. Whether it be fun in the sun or rain on the train, be brave for your shave with or against the grain. This fits for you whether you want to shave, rave, crave or slave. So sit your ass back and don't do jack. I'll teach you the skills. You give me a plaque. Alright? Here we go. So, let's get started. You're going to need one of these to shave down your hair. I prefer this. It's just a regular Phillips thing about bulbs. Alright? And it works pretty well. It does. It really does. So you need that, and you're going to need a shaver. Now, personally, I prefer the head blade. It's a tiny snowmobile thing. Snowmobile-like. It's got a little wheel at the back. It spins like Hot Wheels, too. Maybe Hot Wheels did a collaboration deal with them and made it. And the blade goes on the bottom. It's got these little rubber grips right there that you can hold. And it can actually use a Gillette Sensor or Gillette Atra blades or the head blade blades. Anyways. There's me hair. That is... It's nice. I like it. I like it, but I'm getting rid of it for you. For all of you. Alright. So. So get your shaver. Turn it on. And begin shaving. To be honest, I kind of like, I kind of like my new look, so, sorry to say this, but I can't, I can't shave this off. Look at this. I mean, like, no one's ever done this before, I'm pretty sure. I'm kidding. Right, I'm kidding. Right, you got me. You probably shouldn't do this with a shirt on. Uh, what you're going to want to do now is wet your head. The best thing to do is to have a shower. It's up to you. It is. It's up to you. But I'm going to take a shower. Take your shower the way you normally do. As I'm taking the showers, I'm doing what I normally do right now. My head's getting wet. By the time I'm done the shower, I'm going to be all set to go. Okay. So you just got out of the shower. What do you do? You can either put your clothes back on, or you can leave them off. It doesn't really matter. Just make this a rule for yourself. No later than three minutes after your shower, you should have already put on your shaving cream. So get your shaving cream. It's French. Okay, so you have your shaver. A few things you need to know. Are you going to go with the green? With it? Or are you going to go against the green? Now, if you're new at shaving, I advise you to go with the green. Okay? Don't go against it. It's going to be too much of an irritation for you. Trust me. Okay. So when you're shaving, what you do is you do a swipe and shake it off in your bowl of water. Get a bowl of water. You don't want to waste water for this. So don't don't have the water running or you know anything like that. You know, just have a small little bowl of warm water and rinse it in there. All right. So let's start off here. So I like to go against the grain. I've been shaving for a few months now, so and it works well for me. So go like this. Oh, another thing. This helps out a lot. Pull the skin back, and it really tightens up your scalp, making it a lot easier to shave off the hair. Okay, so pull it back and shave, like so. Now 
let me show you something. This is how good the head blade works, okay? Because it's on wheels, it's always going to be with the contour of your head. Now, you can go this fast, literally. You can go this fast, okay? See that? Once you get the hang of how it works and how it feels, it's nearly impossible to cut yourself with it. I mean, you could probably shave your head on a trampoline, for instance. Mom! Okay. So remember, I don't have to show you myself doing the whole head, I guess, but wherever you're shaving, pull the skin back. It really helps. Don't worry about seeing your skin. It's more important to be able to feel it, okay? If you could feel any hair, shave that off. So as you're going, feel. Put one hand before you're shaving, shave over it, and then another hand over it, like this. And you'll get the idea. So like I said, feel it, shave. Feel it, shave. So just, just kind of feel around as you go. Okay, you don't need a mirror. You really don't. Just feel with your hand. Okay, so you just finished shaving. What do you do? Give yourself a quick rinse. There's two ways you can dry it. Like this is one way. Or you can do it like this. Okay, I'm not doing it right, obviously. Yeah. There we go. Like that. After shaving my head or doing anything that makes me feel good about myself, like drawing a nice picture, or painting a nice little canvas, or cleaning up my room, I like to do a little, you know, like get myself in the peak state, okay? So you leave feeling good about yourself. So this is what I like to do. A little bit of machine gun. A little bit of a uh, dual machine gun. Or, my personal favorite, and I think everyone's favorite, is the shotgun. Am I right? Oh, I'm right. So that's the video. Your head is shaved, maybe. Maybe you're just watching because you're you're not into the head shaving, but you like the videos because they are interesting when they have me in it only. <laughs> what do you do next? That's the question that everyone is wondering. You could jump on a trampoline without shaving. You can talk to your brother. Yes. Are you recording us? Yeah, well, I need a scene of us talking, just you and I. Why? From a video. You can pet the dog. No, well, I still might go for like a little, a very little bit. Maybe just to drop it off and be like, I'm so sorry, but I got homework. I cannot stay. But I made some. Huh? What are you talking about? Or, one of my favorite things to do, is dance. So that's the video folks, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll probably make another one, because I'll, you know what, there's always something new you can learn, and, that no end, that's it. <laughs>